In term 3, 2022, the Ngura Ranges, Kimberley Land Council and Yakanara Community School work together on a two-way camera trap biodiversity science project. Let's break it down so we know what this means. Two-way means respecting both Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal way of learning. Our project is about helping ranges and uh, students in the schools kind of get more on-country learning done in their classes. Camera trap is a camera that takes photos through motion sensors detection. Biodiversity means all the different animals and plants that live in a habitat. The more animals and plants you have in a place, the more biodiverse that place is. Science means studying things in a natural world by looking carefully and doing experiments. We decided that the best place to do the camera trap biodiversity project was at Manganambi. We did it at Manganambi because it's the main close waterhole for Yakanara and lots of animals would visit there for a drink and feed. First Barrel organized a smoking ceremony as a welcome to country. We call smoke Ngunjut in Walmijari. Barrel collected lots of fresh green yabling leaves and made a small fire with twigs. We call fire Walu. When Beryl saw the flames coming up from the twigs, she sprinkled some water on the leaves of the yabling. She then fanned the flames by gently hitting the fire with the wet leaves. <laughs> when the yabbling leaves started to smoke, she placed a pile of fresh leaves on the fire. This made the ngonjut come out. Then all the students lined up and slowly walked through the ngunjut. They made sure that the ngunjut went all around their bodies. This smoking ceremony is a way of showing respect for culture and country. Next, we listen to stories from Beryl and the elders Jesse and Mary. They told us stories about people visiting Manganampi from a long time ago. Now you get all that grass and trees more growing. They explained that Manganampi is a special country because it is a meeting and ceremony place where all the tribes come together to exchange gifts and have special dances called Juju. After this, we went for a walk looking for tracks with the Ngurura Ranger ladies. We did this tracking to scout out the best location to position the five camera traps. Later on, the rangers showed us how to set up the camera trap. 
First, we hammered the star pickets into the ground. Second, we strapped the camera to the pickets with cable ties. This held them securely in place. Third, we put cat food near the base of the star ticket. This bait is used to attract animals to come have a feed. We thought it was funny because the KLC men <laughs> pretended to eat the cat food. You can eat that. <laughs> well, if you like yeah. eating cat food. <laughs> <laughs> we then put a circle of baby powder down on the ground around the cat food. This is a technique used to stop ants from getting to the food. Next time. Then we turned the camera traps and tried to stay away from its motion sensor so the camera didn't take photo of us. After the camera traps were set up and ready to take photos of any animals, we all went back home. Everybody had a great day. Later on, back in the classroom, we predicted what animals the camera traps would take photos of. Predicting means guessing into the future. So we had a guess and predicted what different species of animals we might see at Manganambi. We then categorized these animals into different species and between native and feral animals. Categorizing means putting things into groups. We classified the animals into different groups like reptile, amphibian, mammal, insect, fish, and birds. We categorized them into carnivores, herbivores, and omnivores, and vertebrates and invertebrates. We also categorize them into a table of native and feral animals. Native means animals that have always been in Australia all the way back into the river. Example of native animals include goanna, emu, and kangaroo. Feral animals have been introduced to Australia from overseas. We also call feral animals and an introduced species. Examples include the pigs, cats and cane toads. We then drew detailed drawings of the animals we predicted we would see on the camera traps. We learnt a lot about these animals as we did the drawings. We had to look very carefully and really concentrate when we did this artwork. We did this artwork to put onto our two murals. Another activity we did was looking at the photos from the camera traps. In every photo, we tried to identify the animal. We made a tally of all the animals we saw. The native animal we saw were Prolga, Finch, Crow, Wallaby, Red-tailed Eagle, and Dingo. The feral animal we saw were Feral Cat, Cane Toad, and Pig. The introduced animal, the Bulaman, was the most tallied animal we saw. We then did some math with our tallies and made bar graph to show the number of animals we saw at Manganambi. Finally, we made two murals using all the artwork from the students. In the center of the artwork, we put a camera trap and 
Surrounding the camera trap were lots of animals that we protected seeing at Manganambi. We also put two endangered animals from the Fitzroy River region in our painting. We put in the Australian painted snipe and the greater billery. We put these in to teach people about these endangered species. We really enjoyed this project and it taught us a lot about native and feral animals. We thank the Murua Rangers and KLC for working with us. Maybe someday in the future YCS kids will become rangers too. To help protect the flora and fauna of Maunambi and the Kimberley. Thank you.